Well, good afternoon. I'm Rick Dancer. Welcome to Explore Again. We're exploring Florence, Oregon. This is the main street of town in Old Town. And in the 70s, this building was purchased and it was the beginning. It used to be boarded up. This was the beginning of renovation of downtown Old Town Florence. Florence probably wouldn't have happened had this building not been redone like that. And then that spurred more development up and down the community and people, this was, was, used to be a part of town that was really sketchy and people did not come here. But once the owners of this Bridgewater restaurant started fixing this up. It used to be the mercantile. That's when everything started to change for Florence. So um, this is now like a super nice restaurant. Um, they also have a bar here, really cool horseshoe shaped bar. So why don't I just take this off of me and put it on the place. So this is the Bridgewater. Cool little seats, really nice decor. They came in and fixed this up. The bar's back in here. Hi guys. This is the bar. Right here. And the restaurant, nice little candlelight. You sit in here at night, it's absolutely beautiful. Um, just And so just newly, do they have fresh oysters? Well, you know what? We're gonna find out, because look what we have here. They have brought out some yummies for us to taste and try. But already, Beth, we have questions about, do you have, I'm, I know the answer already, but Lay people are already asking food questions. Sure thing. Do you have fresh oysters? Yes, we do. Have we have. Her? This is Beth. <laughs> Hi. And Beth and her husband purchased the Bridgewater about a year ago. Yeah, a year and a half. So tell them about the oysters since, since uh, who is this? Amy, Amy wants to know. Amy, okay, so we do oysters a few ways. We have oyster shooters. Um, and then we also do oysters on the half shell, and we can do those um, either raw or grilled. And then we also do a seared oyster uh, that comes with french fries, so it's like a Cajun style fried seared oyster, which is also delicious. Tyler says, uh, very classy. It, isn't it <laughs> nice in here? I mean, isn't it pretty? So let me show you again, because I know you guys, were, you, you get, you get the con, but we're, we want to show you. This is, what, this is right in the heart of downtown Old Town Florence. Um, and that's a really cool bar. This is super nice to sit in here. They got a lot of different beer selections. They can make any drink you need. And and then sometimes, if you're lucky, somebody comes in and plays the piano. Absolutely. I yeah. love that. We've been in here before and people have been playing that piano in there. So tell us what we got here. Okay, so this is one of our most popular appetizers and it's our seared ahi appetizer. And we serve it rare, as you can see. Um, if you prefer it a little more done, then we can certainly cook it that way. Um, but in this, preparation it really is just sort of melt in your mouth and the crust is a Cajun crust so there's a little bit of heat um, but not too much and that's probably one of our our favorite best-selling appetizers okay and then over here we have those are our coconut prawns okay yeah let me move that one there here we go coconut prawns uh-oh party fell oh. um, so those are our coconut prawns with our mango jalapeno jelly and those are also sort of another fan favorite when people come into the restaurant. Usually these are two of the appetizers that we see go out most often. And you guys are obviously, because it's called a fish house, you're mm -hmm. most known for your fish. Oh, absolutely. But we do also have on our dinner menu, we have a 12 ounce hand cut ribeye. And so we do have that. We have a surf and turf, which is a flat iron with um, shrimp. So we do have a lot of meat options and we do have some vegan and vegetarian options as well. So we try and, and get everybody's needs taken care of. That is our zebra teeny. That's one of our signature drinks. So it's uh, Bailey's Stoli. There's a little chocolate rimming. It's sat here for a minute, but when it's first poured, it actually looks like ze the chocolate looks like zebra stripes. Oh yeah. yeah. That's, so that's so one of our cool. signature cocktails. Well, you know, it's just I don't think you should ever <laughs> let a signature cocktail go undrunk. Agreed. Oh. What do you think? That's honey. You want to taste that? Oh, I have. She may. She oh, might you already have. tasted it. Oh my gosh! What's the? Oh my. And then this is our fish and chips. Okay, guys. I'm sorry to make you all hungry at this hour. <laughs> Come on down. Here. People are already coming down. It's absolutely delicious. Yeah. So this is fish and chips. Yeah. So we do hand battered fish and chips. So each piece of fish is dipped in a beer batter. It's all hand dipped and, and battered um, with our fries, and then we do it with a Cajun uh, croissant. Please import me. I'm fit. I'll fit in a crate. <laughs> I'm a cheap gay. <laughs> Come yeah, on now. Where, you look like you live Francois. You probably live in France. I don't feel that you're going to be the cheapest date for us. Um, you know, I I just don't you just I hate to see food go to waste. Oh please, help yourself. Absolutely. Mm. Enjoy. Mm. 
Go ahead, hon. What? What are you? What are you telling me? So, so you've given us some of your. So these okay. are sort of the signature mm -hmm. items. Yeah. Um. So what else would you want to tell the uh, you know folks out there about your place and about the experience of just owning you know yeah. being in it for a year and a half? Of course, yeah. you've been in it many more years than that. Right. But just yeah, a little bit. Well, I think what's important for us is that the Bridgewater feels like a second home for our, our locals and regulars when they come in. Uh, we joke that this is kind of their extended living room <laughs> space, so they can come in and hang out and you know see friends and neighbors and have a drink and have some really good food and hear live piano music, like I said, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday nights. And everybody, we just want everybody to feel warm and welcome when they come in the door and greeted and appreciated. And I just saw the lady who played the piano. Rebecca, she's she our piano player. She was here the last oh time we were gosh. here. And oh yeah. my gosh, you guys. we didn't want to leave. <laughs> oh my gosh, no. Yeah, Rebecca just walked in. She's our, our when, uh, sorry, Friday, Saturday piano player. And then Jake who's actually one of our servers, plays piano on Sunday night. So no, that's when cool. does she start? She starts at 5. Oh, my god! She gosh. comes in and has a little dinner before she starts. She so. is so, you guys, I'll tell you, oh, we forgot. Honey, I'm so I glad know, you remember I that. <laughs> no, we came in, and she was playing, and it's absolutely the most fun, romantic. Yeah. It, it just sets a whole tone in here. Yeah. And I went up and told her, because I think she knows a friend of mine, who um, Stephen Reiser, who's from here down mm -hmm. here. And he also plays the piano, and he's yeah. also vision impaired. Yeah. And, um, oh, God, that is so cool. Yeah, she's awesome. So, you know what would be the perfect night? Staying at the Hesita <laughs> Head Lighthouse. Agreed. And historic. Yes. If you want to have a perfect historic night, and then you come here, <laughs> historic, and you historic have dinner night, here. Yeah, yeah exactly. then, you have, then you come here like this, and then I, I, don't know what, I, I don't know what you do after that, but, you know, it's your part. Do you have a question? No. Oh, I was I just your, say, I thought, but, I thought, or we also love the river. The River, the River House Inn. Yeah, yeah, that's a good one. Yeah, that's where we're staying tonight. Yeah. Um, they were so nice. Craig kind of upped our room a little bit. And oh, nice. We spa. Oh, wonderful. Yeah. You're going to need it after yeah. you're talking. I know. Today. After all these things we're doing need. today, we're going to need this yeah, for you to sit in a sure. spa. <laughs> Somebody says, please import. Oh, that's you. Hate to seafood to go to waste. Laugh out loud. Oh, it won't. It, <laughs> it will be devoured, yeah, I guarantee. They have plenty of staff. <laughs> so, you guys, you came into this. You're not novice at this industry at all. No. But you saw a dream. Absolutely. Why are dreams so important to Chase and something like this? And you see Florence, you see this old building, yeah. you see this business that's been you know, built up, mm -hmm. and then you guys go, what? Oh my God. I know. Well, I, I think my husband and I feel the same way. If you don't, if you don't really work towards what you want and apply yourself for, for what you want to do, then you're kind of stuck doing the same thing day in, day out, and your life isn't exciting, it isn't meaningful in a way, right. so it's really important to just kind of go out there and chase, and even if it seems like unreachable you know if you really put your mind to it you can do it and so and we have a lot of help we have the most amazing staff and they've been amazing in supporting us and a lot of them feel that you know this is their restaurant too and so and we I'm have sure a the lot of good is, help <laughs> the community really love this the place and they love amazing. what you're keeping it the way it is but Absolutely. also making it your own as well yeah and that was our promise to the locals when we bought the the restaurant is we wanted to make sure that we kept the heart of what makes the Bridgewater so special. And we've really worked hard to do that. So when people came in, they had the same experience, the same food, the same consistency, a lot of the same faces with wait staff and a lot of the same uh, people in the kitchen. So it's really important to us to kind of keep that the same because it is a special, special restaurant and special building. And we wanted to maintain that. Rana, we just, my wife and I were just recently in Astoria, another beautiful beach town doing some wonderful things. Yes, it's a great place to visit as well. If you guys are in Florence or you're coming down here in this next week, um, if your kids are bothering you and you just want to get out, bring them down here and get them a burger. Get them Absolutely. Some, you know, this is a good yeah. place to hang. We got showed you the stables today. We showed you uh, everything, all kinds of stuff and uh, for you to do. So don't let them drive you crazy. <laughs> Isn't that what spring break is? Drive I'm, parents crazy? Yeah, week? totally. Come on down. We have a great kids menu. It's a good time. Take them out to the beach. Let them run out their energy. Go to the stables. It's a great little town. And then... Get a babysitter and come in here and listen <laughs> to the music. And have night. Yeah, 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 yeah. Thanks for being with us. Absolutely. Thank All right. you. All right. Okay, honey, ready? Yep. Now we're going to go out to the sand dune, and it's raining. But we're, you know what? We're not afraid. We're Oregonians. We have we're guts, and we will do it. That Oregon life, that's what it really is, rain. Absolutely. You know? That's what it hack works. That's why it's green. All right, you guys, spread this on your page. Share it for us. We'll be back in probably 45 minutes, and we'll be, uh, <laughs> I don't know what we're going to be doing. but.